Hello, everybody. This is Kate Strashney from Dedicated. I'm at Gartner's Data and Analytics Summit, and I stopped by the Dremio booth to talk to Molly. Molly, how's Gartner going for you? It's going great. Um, first day, so much energy, and just great to see the keynote presentation and some uh, additional uh, breakout sessions. Yes, I know. I've been to a couple of sessions. I can't make them all. There's so much going on here. So much going on. But the ones I, I was a part of were really great, really busy, so I love seeing that. I think a good place for us to start is, what do you do at Dremio? Um, I lead the product marketing team at Dremio, so go to market strategy, helping to influence product strategy, and really aligning product marketing and sales. Okay, great. And I know you guys recently released a paper on the state of the data lake house in the AI era. Yep. Um, talk to us about that. What were some of the key highlights? Yeah, so this was based on a fielded third-party survey over 500 data and IT leaders were um, contributing to these insights and some really awesome key takeaways. Um, not surprisingly, I mean, it's all a buzz at Gartner as well. Everyone is focused on AI. How do we get AI into production? But how do we get it in a high quality and trustworthy way? So we are seeing a lot of trends around Governance is super important. The quality of the data is increasingly important. And then also uh, the lake house and the lake house architecture is really becoming the de facto um, platform architecture for AI, being able to get that structured, semi-structured, unstructured data into one place without dealing with some of the headaches of the modern data stack. Yes, I'm sure that's one of the main drivers, right, of moving people to the data lake house is to just have all that data centrally located. Absolutely. Now, I know you guys have some um, new releases coming out in a, in a month or two. Any sneak peeks that you could provide for my audience? Yes, so we are very excited about this release. Um, with this release, it's really evolving around this theme of intelligence. So with this release, um, we are really becoming the intelligent Lakehouse platform. Um, some capabilities that I'm really excited about are, if you're familiar with reflection, so kind of that accelerated query optimization that um, people really know Dremio for, uh, we're releasing autonomous reflection. So what does that mean? It means that you get all of the benefits of reflections without any of that manual work. So really taking kind of any effort and complexity that comes with the platform out of the equation and just focusing on performance. Mm -hmm. And then another thing I'm excited about is um, really enhancing our data products experience. I'm hearing data products all over the place at Gartner. Yeah. Um, so really good timing for this too. Um, we're releasing AI enabled a semantic search, which really brings that pillar of discoverability to the data products experience. Okay, and is that going to be available soon or? Yes, this is all coming live in early April. Okay. Um, anyone that's attending the Iceberg Summit, we're timing it with that release. Um, and we already have some customers um, experimenting in private preview. Okay, can you tell my audience about the Iceberg Summit? Where can they learn more about that one? Yes, so the Iceberg Summit is happening the first week of April. We really encourage it for anyone who is either an iceberg kind of power user or looking to learn more. It's really focused on those data engineers, platform engineers, analytics engineers, and then also um, leadership is becoming more and more interested in open table formats, especially as it relates to that evolution to the lake house. Okay, amazing. So one of my final questions here, I know everyone's trying to become AI ready and they're on this path for AI. Yeah. How does Dremio play a part in helping companies become more prepared for what's to come? Absolutely. So when you're talking about putting AI into production, um, you've heard the garbage in, garbage out. I heard the goodness in, goodness out. I don't <laughs> okay. know where you're getting your... <laughs> well, at Dremio, it's all about the goodness in, yes, goodness out. So that's here. what we focus about here um, in really <laughs> building that trust. So um, the... The performance of AI models is really dependent on both quality and quantity of the data. Okay. Those are two, um, if we want to be solution-oriented, solutions we provide at Dremio with that unified data access. So being able to bring all of your data 
into one place that you can um, work with, retrieve, and get that domain knowledge into through data products and have it be reusable. Um, but then also um, with the quality, having those governance guardrails in place, making sure people have the right access to the data, eliminating BI extracts and um, shadow IT. Um, I would say the quality and quantity is really what we're focused on at Dremio and being able to uh, build that AI ready foundation. Oh, that makes sense because AI helps us do things in a more autonomous, quicker way. And if you're not building on a good foundation, you're just going to mess up quicker. Right? Yeah, it's all going to crumble. And we've yes. seen it happen. And with our customers that are starting to experiment and get some really quick use cases into production, uh, they've been really um, satisfied with the results. Great. Well, is there a place where my audience can check out maybe some of those customer stories or learn more about Dremio? Absolutely. So kind of the hub I would go to is dremio.com. And another area our customers really get started is through um, our try free. So being able to get your hands on in the platform um, and try it out and be able to learn more. Um, we also have great sales representatives. And if you're at Gartner, we'd love to see you at the booth. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for your time. And everyone in the audience, make sure you're following Dremio on all social media platforms. Molly, thank you. Thank you so much.